this is this is our new uh, uh, SDR radio. This radio takes all that is good about the 9000. That technology with the with the down conversion, the nine megahertz first IF, very sharp, clifted um, um, roofing filters, takes all of this technology, brings it over to the, the our new SDR. Now our new SDR just isn't another pretty face. Anybody can do SDR, but what we have is the hybrid SDR. Why do we have a hybrid SDR? Because the problem with with SDR normal, which is just a direct sampling SDR, it it samples everything that's coming in the front door. Everything. The artifacts as well as the signal you want. Then the processors, you have to have an A to D processor that can handle that much work. And unfortunately, the processors are not at that state yet where one can handle it all. So what we said was, what if we bring everything in through the normal sampling, but then create a path which, which we call narrow uh, SDR, which takes it through an SD first stage, brings it back again, and now most of the artifacts are out, and we can it can now deal with just the signal that you want. Now, I'm simplifying this for, for yeah. any reason, but that's the the concept behind it, and it works. The next thing we did is we used direct sampling. That's what you see here. SDR is the, this is the band in real time. What you see going back is the time, the z-axis, that's time. So what is, you see, what does that mean? This is um, This is both, both the sides in time. You can see it just a little better as it tunnels back. If you're contesting or if you're, if you're DXing or, or anything like that, and you're working somebody here, but you see here, 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 a signal, signal over here, but as it goes back, as long as it's still in the time domain, well, when you're done here, all you have to do is go over here, touch the screen. If there was a signal, it would change to that frequency and you're on it. Oh, wow. Which you have to do it here. Right? All right? And then you can do it you, as fast as you can get the QSO over with, as long as they're still in the time domain, you can work it. Which, which, as you can tell, it takes away the need to try to go search and hunt. All right? So that's kind of the real big issues here. Now all the numbers, we saw the Sherwood report, yeah. are, are, are blocking our reciprocal, our, our, our intermont, they're just phenomenal numbers. And it's because of that technology. Now, not only that, if I one last thing, it's no good cleaning up the front end if you're going to dirty it up on the back end. So we said that's not good. So we have a process of that. We skip, I don't want to get too technical on this because it's math involved, <laughs> but yeah. as you know, to, to, well, the, the, the normal technology for a transmit frequency is phase lock loop, which you have to you, you do the, a, a, a loop, get a lock, yeah. and then you, you send it out the door. Again, that's so simplified. But what happens is in the lock, this loss is what's that happen. So we have a, a system that uses a very high frequency, 400 megahertz, does the lock, and what happens is there's a, a there is a lock that is at zero level. Now it's mathematical zero level, but the radio doesn't know that. So there's no losses. What came in the front goes out the back okay. with no losses. So what they hear you, that's the way you heard them. So. I got a question. Yeah. Can you expand that? Let's expand this too? Yes. So you can drill down inside? Yeah, you can, you, yeah, you can expand it. Okay. I want to do that here too. We can span up to one one thousand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how does the mouse operate? What do you have control oh, over? Oh, you have everything's on the front. There are some some menus, obviously. Uh huh. So you know, if we go, well, matter of fact, I could click on that. Okay, I see over the multi level. Yeah, and the multi and the hold and the expand. Span. Yeah, like so that. you have access to that menu. Right. Yeah, and if I this one I didn't want to have to push, but there's, okay. there's an operation menu. So any of these you can, you can work out. But again, back to the display itself. If there's a frequency here, I could I could go up here and move down the mouse. Uh -huh. So uh, it, it's kind can of, you change filters using the mouse? 
Um, you mean like the roofing field? Yeah. Uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, you can. Okay, <laughs> good. So, and you can turn the attenuator on. Yeah, and off. you can do all of okay. these. All anything that's up here, you can do. Yeah. On both sides. And it's, all right, that's it, nice. It's, yeah, it's kind of cool because you can actually have the radio down someplace else. And, and, yeah. And, and, now, if you have a signal, you can click point and click with the mouse. Yeah, you can point and click. You just you just pretend there's a signal right. here. You just and, 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 and I just click. And see the see the change. Well, actually, I'll just I'll just there's nothing there. And then you can also you can also hook the keyboard out of it. Right? Yeah, you can hook the keyboard up. Now, what's <laughs> what would you use the keyboard for? Good question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, can you send ready PSK? No, that's it. Thank you. That's yeah. what you would mostly right. do it for. Gotcha. Encode, decode. Yes, you can do uh, do that. Yeah. Do that as well. Um, will it send keyboard CW? Yeah, it will through the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will. You can do. It. You can do, you can do radio no, that way. No, but I mean, with the keyboard, you can send CW from the keyboard. Yeah, well, yeah, what it's going to in, it's called uh, encoding. Yeah. yeah. So you put the CPU, 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 CPU on your keyboard, and then you have the encode on here, and it goes out CW. You can do the same with radio. You can do the same with PSK. It's called encoding. All right. Um, that's cool. Yeah, that was something new you couldn't do with some of the. And it decodes CW it decodes on the screen. Very okay. nicely too. Okay. Much more. So all of these did that, but this really yeah. sent got it. It gets it. It hears it. Um, and you do it on the seven-inch screen. Of course, up here you have it on the, on the monitor. Yeah. Other little, other little creature comforts that back to the analog side. Even notice, you see, you see a blue light and a white light. Yeah. The white light says that's the main band. The blue light says it's the B band. So in darkness, you could tell how you're configured. Okay, that's that's just fun, kind of cool. But here's really, so let's say you're, again, contesting or, or uh, uh, DXing. If you press and hold this, right, notice the little orange light came on. Mm -hmm. I've now band stacked this. I now put this 10.1 into the stack. And this, so you're now going over here to 15 meters and, and you're going to, whatever you need. And you want to come back and say, where was I? You know, you're talking about, you know, where was that guy? Oh, there's a, it's just a marker. So now you know to come back to. Just push the button again and yeah, it'll where, cycle through. Where you the were. register. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just push the button into three, three stacks. Three stacks. Now, band okay. stacking is on a lot of radios, uh -huh. but this actually reminds you that you got it stacked. So, the orange uh, indicator. The orange above. light. Yeah. The orange oh, light. Wow. All right. Well, yeah. I saw the uh, Sherwood report on it, and it ranked number one. Yeah. It's outstanding. And you can't buy Sherwood. He, uh, he, he, right. Oh he, yeah. You can trust the guy, but it's because I'm. It's, it, it, that's why we were we waited to get into the SDR game mm -hmm. because just doing direct sampling isn't enough. It's not gonna. Matter of fact, it would take away from the nine thousand, which already is superior twenty. Yeah. And we weren't about to do that. So. Does this one have IF out on the back? Yes, it does. does it? IF out on the back, it does. Because um, I've got a five thousand, mm -hmm. and I've got an LP pan adapter. So yeah. I wanted to make sure if I went to this that I could have the same. One functionality that I had in that with the mouse and all that, which you just showed me you, you, that, that you I can't. You can't, yeah. Now, you won't have, doesn't LP Pan let you see like five bands or something like that? Isn't that uh, LP Pan? No, it'll give you, I don't know what the band is. I think it'll give you three, 350 kilohertz or Okay, but like all that. the same band? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So you can't do like five different? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so. How about remote on this operating yeah. remote? How cool is yeah. that? Yeah, that we have with a LAN. We're going to help, help you, um, have a demonstration set up with the mm -hmm. internet's not good here. But yeah, you can remote it. With mm -hmm. uh, we have a box which is called a uh, LAN box, uh -huh. and it will be able to remote this radio from just that remote location. Okay, so you, you buy the LAN box buy and the add, it. And add it. Yeah. Is the software if software comes with the LAN box? Yeah, you got so. We have everything. Got it software. But right now, uh, we, we we're so hoping to get it mm -hmm. working, but the internet did not. This is, by the way, I'm showing all of the oscilloscopes. So you can monitor your transmit. Yeah, okay. Same way the waterfall and the, and the audio, the, the FFT main. But this is kind of cool because we have, I just want you to, we, we have not forgot about the back end of the radio. Yeah. What's going out, right. you can actually monitor as well. What's the uh, maximum transmit 
transmit bandwidth for sideband? Does it go above 30? 30, no, 32. 32? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. Now, what's the date on EMP? Have they come out with a date yet? Not a fast one yet because it's still an FCC, So, but we're guessing first fall. Like Although we're not good guessers. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, so around Christmas time, maybe. I suspect probably. All right. Realistic. That's a good time. Yeah. But it's not really in our control. Right. Yeah. The FCC works at their speed. Not yeah. And your name is Tim KT7. All right, Tim. Tim, thanks. Uh, Did that help? Was thanks. that excellent? Yes. Yeah.